When learning about objects in the programming world, it can be a little bit confusing at first, especially if you haven't used a programming language before, or if it's been a very long time since you've programmed. Uh, for example, if you used uh, BASIC or Pascal or Fortran, maybe uh, nearly 20 years ago, then the concept of objects will have changed quite a bit since then. So objects in programming world can be thought of very similar to objects in the real world. And objects are going to be, uh, as with nouns, people, place, or things. Um, and in programming, uh, we'll usually have things that are our, our objects, um, even though you can't see them uh, in much the same way as you can a real object in the real world. Um, the object in the programming world will still have properties, uh, descriptors, as well as actions that it can take. So let's take a look at an object in, in the real world so we can make this metaphor stick a bit. So here's a picture of a car, and this could be our car object. So I'll go ahead and uh, create this, and this will be car. And this is a special type of car, of course, because it can go on the water as well as go on land. Now, our noun here is our car, or our object, the car. And we can also think of um, adjectives, uh, which are going to be descriptors, of course. That can be very similar to properties within programming terms. So a property might be the color. And we'll say that the value here, the, the value of this color property, would be blue. It's a very light blue, but it still, still pertains. And so that's an example of a object or car with a property of color. Another type of uh, property uh, might be size. So in the real world, this car might be uh, seven or eight feet long, maybe. So I'll go ahead and say size. And for now, we'll just keep this simple and say medium small or large, and we'll say that this is a small car. So there was three different value uh, that uh, three different values that were possible. Okay. So in order to access this now, to access the 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 property, I'd need to say what I'm talking about. So I'd need to say my noun first or the object that would be car and dot color. And so now if I were to have this be an output, it would output blue for the color of that car. You know, I could change that, right? I could take this to a, to a car shop uh, and it, they could spray paint over it and they would uh, give it a new color, maybe red. So I could change that at any time that I wanted to as long as I could afford to do so. So now I could change that. Um, and any time that I did an output of car.color, it would from there on show the color red. So properties can usually be changed with an object, especially if they're user-defined objects. Let's take a look at a method. An example of a method might be something like turn. Okay. And methods usually have a parenthesis, opening and closing parenthesis. And within there, you can put what we call arguments. So an example of an argument here would be maybe the degrees. So maybe someone is turning, they're gonna turn 20 degrees. Or maybe we'll turn 90 degrees in such a case. Okay. So another action could be move. And we could say move slow or fast, or we could also have within the opening closing parenthesis, we could have a speed. And since this car is going on the water, it's gonna be going pretty slow, so we'll say a speed of five miles per hour. Okay. So that's an example of an object with a color property as well as a move and a turn method. So let me apply this now again. So I could say car dot move and we'll put in a value and then we're gonna have this thing on land now so it's gonna be going 45 miles per hour in this case. So let's translate this to programming terms now. So there's a real JavaScript object called window and it has a method called alert. And as I mentioned, most methods in JavaScript have an opening and closing parentheses so you can put the argument. So here I'll put an argument of hello world 
And what that does is that calls the alert function that's built into JavaScript and it processes it and it creates a prompt or actually a, uh, a new box that, po that pops up that will say, hello world. Another type of object is a uh, HTML element object that's called an image. And I'll write this here. And is source, is that going to be a method or a property? And if you were to say property, you would be right. So this property will be describing that object. And it is um, going to be describing what the object will look like, actually. It's going to go ahead and get that object. So let me just pretend that I had a image.jpg sitting on my server. It would retrieve that and then show that using that source property. So there's just a few examples of using objects, methods, and properties and translating that into real-world terms to try and make it easier for us to understand how it works within JavaScript.